Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to create this really simple black smoky eye. It's a classic and it's quick and easy to do. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please leave a comment and a thumbs up because that really helps my channel to be seen. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. So now on with the tutorial. The first thing I'm doing is taking my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer and I'm using my finger to blend some of this product onto the eye area to prep my lids for the shadows that are to come. Next, I'm taking this warm brown cream shadow and again, I'm using my finger to pat this product onto the lid. Recently, I was asked how do I get my shadows to show up nice and pigmented. I prime my eyes before eyeshadow application, so that helps. But if you really want your shadows to show up strongly, use a coloured base. I'm using brown and black shadows today, so I'm using a brown and a black base first to intensify the shadows later on. Now I'm just using a synthetic brush as it works really well with the cream shadow and I'm applying that brown down along the lower lash line. Next I'm taking a black cream shadow and this actually has little specks of shimmer running throughout which is a nice touch. Once again I'm using my finger to apply it to the lid. I'm using my finger because the warmth of my hands actually helps me to blend out the product easily. As you can see, when I first apply the shadow, it looks very, very pigmented, and it is, but I'm not wearing it on its own today. I'm using it as a base, so that's why I'm shearing it out as I blend. And like before, I'm blending that black down along the lower lash line with my pencil brush. I actually blended that black out a little more than I wanted to, so to ensure that I have a nice even color, I'm going back in, reapplying and blending out. Now I'm taking a black eyeshadow from the Penny's Custom Eyes range and I'm using a big C-shaped brush to pack the shadow on top of the base, making sure to coat the lid area only and then I'm taking the black down along the lower lash line to set the cream shadow in place in that area too. Next then I'm picking up some of this brown eyeshadow also from the Custom Eyes range and I'm layering this over the brown cream shadow that's sitting in the crease. By layering your shadows over cream bases, you're going to get a more intense colour payoff and the shadows are actually going to last longer too, so ideal for making your makeup last during warm weather. I don't want any fleshy tones on show, I want this look to be nice and dark and smoky, so I'm lining my waterline with some black eyeliner. And now I'm just reusing those lashes that I used in my video last week, the ones from Kiss that are exclusive to Pennies in the Style Noir. And to blend my own lashes in with the false ones, I'm adding some mascara and applying this with a heavy hand to my top and bottom lashes. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.